Greetings, sisters and brothers. I'm going to keep this video very short because the text in my Kickstarter campaign explains what this project is all about. The title is Adwa, Ethiopia's Queen Taitu and King Menelik Destroy Italy. And essentially, this is a graphic book about one of Africa's greatest victories, the Battle of Adwa. Not enough Africans know about this history. Not enough people around the world know about this history for two reasons. In Africa, many of the schools don't even teach proper African history. And part of it is due to the legacy of colonialism, the inherited systems that essentially worshiped and glorify the conquerors. Why is it not known outside Africa? Why would they want to tell the story? The Battle of Adwa was when Ethiopia defeated an invading Italian army that wanted to conquer Ethiopia and make it a colony. Ethiopia was the only African country not to be colonized because of their victory at the Battle of Adwa. Remember the 19th century when Europeans met at the Berlin Conference from November 1884, November 15, to February 26, 1885, and partitioned the continent. Everybody got a chunk. Britain, France, Portugal, Belgium, Italy, Spain, you name it, Germany, all of them got a piece of the action. But the Ethiopians said, no way. It won't happen, Jose. <laughs> so when the Italians invaded, the Ethiopians met them on the battleground. The Italian commander-in-chief, General Oreste Baratieri, had promised the king of Italy, Umberto, that he was going to come back with Emperor Menelik II in a cage so they could display him in the zoo. <laughs> but the Ethiopians had other ideas. Fighting alongside the emperor was the empress, Empress Tetu, which is one of the few instances in African history when a leading woman was on the front lines as well. There are many other stories, but I want to tell this story first, and that's why I launched this campaign. Empress Tetu herself had 6,000 men under her command. So the Italians came, the Ethiopians welcomed them with gunfire, with swords, with cannon, with spear, with arrows. And after six hours, 3,000 Italian soldiers lay dead on the battlefield, including two generals. One general was captured. Baratieri, who had promised to take Menelik in a cage, fled for his life <laughs> and ran away from the battlefield. The Ethiopians captured about 3,000 Italian prisoners of war, took them back to Addis Ababa, the new capital city, which was named by Empress Taitu herself, Addis Ababa, a beautiful flower, and put them to work building parts of the capital, Addis Ababa. So the tables are turned. Now you have Europeans working under the command of African masters, you see? So now you understand why this story has not been picked up by Hollywood and made into a blockbuster film, <laughs> you know, a spectacular African victory that should make all Africans, all diaspora Africans, no matter what part of the globe you, you or you, whatever you call yourself, Afro-Brazilian, African-American, African, -American, African uh, Britain, African, European, African, African on the continent. This is our history. And uh, the text is finished. The story is finished. The artwork is essentially finished. So I'm doing this campaign to raise funds to do complete colorization of all the pieces of artwork. And you see the sample on the front page. That piece has been colorized already. But I want to do, you know, maybe a maximum of of uh, 30, but I have about 28 completed now. So I want to do the colorization. I want to build a website. I want to do a nice uh, layout 
obviously to get it printed as well. And so the support levels, as you notice, everybody will get uh, a copy of the book, no matter what level that you support this, uh, uh, this project. And I hope you do support this project. This is a story that we need to tell, how one African country was victorious in uh, thwarting the colonial attempts uh, to partition. Uh, and uh, this story needs to be known by people on the continent and people in the diaspora as well. If you have any questions at all that is not answered in the text of the campaign, please, if you want to contact me, my email is malimadi at gmail.com. It's also, of course, in the text. Otherwise, it's M-A-L-L-I-M-A-D-I at gmail.com. You can also text me at 646-261-7566. I want this project to succeed as a graphic book. And then the second project, obviously, will be working uh, toward producing this as a film, as a movie. But one step at a time. Let's start with the uh, graphic book first. Uh, Adwa, Adwa, Ethiopia's Queen Tetu and King Menelik destroy uh, Italy. And I'm looking for uh, 15750 for the total production, layout, printing, doing the color, complete colorization, and of course to ship copies of the book out, and then to have a dedicated website so people can continue ordering the book. And we go from there. We see when we can then start thinking about doing the film. Any questions, get in touch with me. I look forward to your support, and I will see this as a victory uh, for all Pan-Africans. And in terms of my background, I teach African history at John Jay College here in New York City. I also teach at the Graduate School of Journalism at Columbia. Uh, I advise uh, master's students on their master's project. So that is me, and that is the project. I look forward uh, to your support. Peace and blessings. Stay strong. Amandla. Africa. Oh, yeah. Adwa. Oh, yeah. King Manalik and Queen Taitu and the Battle of Adwa. Oh, yeah.